Hey guys, what's up? Dave from uh, Alien Reptiles again. Uh, last video, I think I said I'll do, or maybe my first one, I said I'd do a uh, cage cleaning, tub cleaning of the rats. Now I pre-gamed a little bit. I've already taken some of the, I've taken, taken the rats out of that tub, put them in a holding container so you don't have to watch that whole process. Uh, maybe at the end I'll give you, open the tubs up and let you see. This is the first one. I still have four more to do after this. Just going to do one. Don't want to bore everybody with it. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, Obviously, take the rats out, get your tub, I and mean, I got a big trash can in here, empty all this stuff out. If you watched our uh, video on cleaning the snake tubs, essentially the same thing. But uh, chlorohexidine, again, we love that stuff here, it works really well. I gave it a good, good soaking down. Some of these spots with the poop and some of the things sticking, I'll kind of hit them a little bit more, let it soak in. Helps with taking it off at the, towards the end when you're giving it a wipe down. And my paper towels. Over here. You know, we still, we only have, we only have uh, the five tubs. We've only had uh, our adults, our adult females only dropped one litter for so far. Uh, we haven't had them that long. I think there's a couple of them that are pregnant. I'm gonna, I got the babies that we've had, they're separated now. Male, female, because at five weeks or so, they're able to be, well, they are sexually mature, and I don't want them to be that young, getting pregnant. I think it's healthier for them to be a little bit older, got some size on them, nice and healthy, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's where we are. We don't have too much. We have a whole bunch more now that we've had those litters drop. Um, and then we're gonna start getting them set up to where we have one rack that's just for breeders. The other rat is the other rack will be for the babies to grow up once they're weaned off the moms. Um, and then we'll just keep swapping and moving where we need to move. Hey, we need another male here. We need a couple females here. That's what we'll do. We'll get them moved in that way. Um, I know probably some people are going to say why you don't have gloves on, why you don't have a respirator. I don't have a collection big enough in my eyes to warrant that yet. Uh, we clean these tubs out once a week. Um, maybe, maybe sometimes they'll get it. I don't know what they do. Sometimes they get crazy and they make, they destroy this thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, chlorhexidine, spray it down, wipe it out really good. We use pine, another, another, Another thing that's some kind of controversial, I guess. Everybody wants aspen. Use aspen. Use the pellets. Use all this stuff. I've had no issues, uh, respiratory issues, um, no eye puffiness, no gunk around the eyes. They seem to be just fine. Um, if I could find aspen in a size that I could find this, these pine shavings at the same price-ish, I, I mean, I'm good spending the money to make sure my animal's taken care of, and that's that's not that's not what I'm getting at. Um, right now, pine is what we got, what we can find locally around here. Um, I'm sure I can order some offline, but this is what we're using here. Tractor Supply, fine pine shavings. I've been using it for a while now. Had no issues. I'll get them all loaded up with fresh stuff. Just really mass to smell good. Again, I'm not saying one's better than the other, or you can't use this, or you can't use that. This is what we use here. Um, maybe at some time in the future, we'll get some other ones, get some other stuff. If we can find it and we get a hold of it easily. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. We take the stuff out. Uh, I'll take their water bottles, which is weird too. We have regular water bottles you find in any kind of, kind of aquarium. Just the, uh, just these guys. This is what we're using. I went to Reptile Basics. I got the whole setup, the nozzles, the bucket, the one-way valve, the quick disconnects. Had it all set up. I don't know if you can see it, maybe not. I might show you at the end of this video. But I had it all lined up. I don't know, for whatever reason, not one of these rats would take to it. They wouldn't drink out of it. I never see them drink out of it. I put these bottles in and they go to town. I fill them up twice, sometimes three times a day. Um, maybe with a new rack, I'll, I'll try to set that one up again. See if uh, I can get those guys on it, because it's much easier to be five gallons worth of water, and I probably had to change that once every couple days, clean it out real good, give them fresh water, all that stuff. Um, we use the Missouri uh, 
lab blocks. And again, they don't seem to eat that very well. They are eating, they're healthy. I'm not saying that they don't eat, but uh, they'll last, they'll sit up there for a while. And I have, have Missouri up there for a minute. Um, I do have to order some more uh, every once in a while for a treat, maybe once a week, uh, once every couple couple weeks, 10 days, 12 days, something like that. We give them uh, hard boiled eggs, they'll get some cauliflower, some broccoli, some stuff like that. Sometimes we have chicken, like some spare chicken, or maybe some chicken that's about to go bad or expire or whatever. We're not going to cook and eat it ourselves. I'll boil it, chop it up, give it to them. They tear that stuff up. They love that stuff. They love the broccoli. Um, they love the carrots. They love they love pretty much everything, all those snacks that we give them. Uh, sometimes with sunflower seeds, plain Jane sunflower seeds, not David barbecue flavor stuff, just regular plain Jane stuff. Uh, wild bird food, we'll get that stuff. It's got um, dehydrated fruits and seeds and stuff in there for them, and they seem to like that too. Uh, we're getting there, man. I mean, our, our colony's growing. We've got three tubs of babies that are now... I mean, hell, some places they'll be considered medium rats. Um, and it's crazy, they grow so fast. I mean, man, they grow fast. And we have we have some of the smaller snakes that can't eat those yet, and I still have frozen out in the garage. Um, I like to get it to where I don't need to buy frozen stuff all the time and just have my endless supply. Um, but hey, let me turn you guys around. I'll show you. I guess I'm not going to be able to turn you around right now. All right. Well, there it is right there. I'm doing it off my phone. I'm still trying to figure out my new camera. That thing, that thing's a pain in the ass. So many things and adjustments and do this and do that. Um, and I'll try to take one of these guys out, kind of show you what we're working with here. These are the babies. And they're not very, not small anymore. They're, they're big. But man, we love them. We love them. They're cool. It, it bothers us to have to feed them to the snakes, but we also understand that's a necessity and it has to happen. Um, we got some gray ones. We got white and grays. We got all tans. We got all whites. And it's weird because the moms and the dads that we have are all black and whites or tans by themselves. We didn't have any solid tans or solid, solid blacks or grays. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. Maybe later on I get going and rolling, I'll try to get like all tans or get all blacks put them together and see if we get all the same colored babies. Um, but yeah, man, I don't, don't want to bore you guys anymore. This is how we do it here. Wipe down, again, I got what, one, two, three, I got four more tubs to do. Got a couple, couple snakes in here, blew it up inside their tubs, so I'll be cleaning those out here in a second. Um, try to think if I missed anything for you. No, I mean, that's that's it. That's it. I'm going to cut it short before I mess it up. I actually made a video, I tried to make a video yesterday, and right at the very end, I jacked it up, and it was an unboxing. And I can't, I don't know how to edit that stuff. I'm still learning all this social media stuff. My my son's girlfriend is going to probably come over and help me, hopefully. She's a whiz at that stuff and can make sure I'm doing these videos right and I'm not looking like a super amateur, which I am. Uh, yeah, if you... If you guys want to see anything else, you want to see any of the stuff, um, hey, how do you guys do this? How do you guys do that? Hey, can we look at this? Can we look at that? Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, uh, at alien, rep, alien underscore reptiles, and same thing on Facebook. And uh, if you can, give us a like and, and subscribe, please. All right, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.